Hello and welcome to Ham Radio Networking. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how I started a amateur radio company that involves hotspots. And here's a little look at what one of them looks like without an antenna. So let's get started and dig into how this all works. Okay, so here on the computer, this is my website. Um, and I'm just going to brief go over where I'm currently selling it. And then I'm going to go into my story on how I get started with this stuff and what and how I'm able to get sales with this. Um, first off is this is the website hamspot.square.site uh, if you go to the website it shows you can get a good quality hotspot for a low price of $150 and has 3d printed GUI or the printed the 3d printed goodies along with a powered by square thing so if we go to the store the pops of everything I have listed and this is my hotspot currently sold three I have three remain I need to go uh, check that off of here but um this is the hotspot now this is in one of the more ugly cases i have now i have this pretty nice good textured black case right here that's awesome that's basically what it is it has a raspberry pi 4 along with a duplex mmd vm board and the features of that versus the regular simplex ones you can change talk groups while people are talking on the uh, hotspot and also it um you can have two time slots so you can be you can also monitor two talk groups at the same time as well which is really really cool so 150 dollars plus tax and shipping um and so let's get started on the story of how i uh, started doing this okay so it basically was me wanting to do something to make money at my young age so i can purchase stuff like an hf ham radio thing 3d printers computers or whatnot and so i figured out why not just make the uh sell hotspots since i like hotspots i feel like they're extremely overpriced and why not uh, make them build them and instead of getting some super expensive C4 Labs case that's aesthetically pleasing, I just 3D print one that doesn't look too bad. And so I can sell them for a lot cheaper than what a lot of other companies are selling them for right now. And also provide something that's also a little unique by using duplex. I know there is duplex MMD VM boards, but this one, um, not a lot of hotspots that are for sale use them and the ones that are very expensive so this one's 150 dollars after i did that uh, my plan was in order to get sales you can't just list something on some random site and get sales you need plus publicity so i reached out to this one awesome creators he's growing subscribers so fast um he makes really good content as well um i asked him if he wanted to take my uh hotspot review it do whatever he wants with it and then once he has his video ready he can ship it back to me whenever no big rush and uh, as long as he posts a video and he's pretty much honest about it that's all I really want and that's what he did so this is the video right here I watched the whole thing he basically had this, put the link into it into the description um, and stuff like that and then I got a few a couple of a few sales off of that which was pretty nice and uh, It worked pretty well and uh, This is the interface of what it looks like if I full screen here um, It is a very it uses a better version of I, It's actually not even its own version of Pistar um, it's now basically a completely separate version of Pistar, and I'll show you how all that looks like at the end of the video and all the cool features with that. But um, yeah, he made a video, got a few sales from it. Uh, he got content, and I got publicity, and I'm glad that he was able to uh, like the product and think it was something to recommend. Um, so that's how I got started from there. So I have this website. I even posted my own link to it in uh, the ham radio crash course discord server swap i think i got i sort of got in a sale from there once um and then also recently i uh, listed it on qrz and i just got someone that emailed me and wanted something from that so i have it on multiple marketplaces along with my own website and i had a youtuber that per, uh, that publicized the website which was really awesome that's how i've been getting a few sales i've also sold the same hotspot before um 
this was my second batch of this type of hotspot and made some money that way as well so I could purchase this larger batch of hotspots and make them sell. Now, some people I've had a little bit of hate saying they're overpriced, but if you go on Amazon, let's just let's just go on Amazon real quick and let's search um high star hotspot. Let's just do that. See how much they are. Okay, this is just a kit. All right, so here's probably the closest thing you're going to be able to find. It has a somewhat nice case, pretty basic. It has a Raspberry Pi that's not the zero, and it also has a board with a screen. Now, this has a Raspberry Pi 2B, which is not the greatest uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, it's better than the Raspberry Pi Zero, but it's not as good as the Raspberry Pi 4, and it's also cheaper than the Raspberry Pi 4, and he's also using a Simplex board here, which is also cheaper, and it doesn't have the uh, couple extra features. So it's pretty nice, but it's more expensive, and it's also doesn't have as many features as mine. And also, you can't pre-program it. Now, the cheaper hotspots that you can get is one of these. They got Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W inside, so it's extremely slow. It's also got a simplex board. This will get you on any of the digital modes uh, for $20 less, but you're missing out. It's extremely slow, um, and you're missing out on a lot of features with it. This is another, this is a duplex. So basically you're getting a duplex board so you get the time slot one, time slot two, along with the duplex functionality. Um, but you're getting a very crappy Raspberry Pi Zero. So it runs less smooth and it's also more expensive. If you include shipping and tax, it's about the same exact price as mine. Um, but it doesn't have a Raspberry Pi 4 and it's also just a overall cooler product. Um, so let's go check out the TGIF spot. This hotspot's made by the same person that owns the TGIF network. So for $288, you can get as a Raspberry Pi 3B. So not quite as good, but almost as good as the Raspberry Pi 4B that I'm using. But it has a nicer screen and it also has a very cool case. So you're getting a better case and a better screen. But with running the WPSD software that I want to show you in a second. Do you even need the screen? And I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. And here's an even better one. For $348, you can basically get a simplex board right here. But as a super cool screen. But who needs a screen with something that I'm just about to show you. Um, I believe this has a Raspberry Pi 4. Yes, it has the same exact Raspberry Pi as I'm using, but a simplex board. Um, and he gets these sales. But I am so much cheaper than this. And I have uh, a couple extra features. But he's also got a really nice case and a really um, nice screen so let's go uh, boot up uh, this hotspot right here and uh, show you the potentials of the software okay so here is the software that I am running right now I'm running a sky bridge but the same this is the exact same so this is what the software looks like when you boot it up this is like the main screen compared to Pi star let me just pull up how bad Pi star looks compared to this who wants to use this this looks ugly, in my personal opinion. This does not look great. This looks awesome. Fills your entire screen. It actually has text that's readable, that's large, so I can actually see it. Um, and I love this current last caller detail. It says more details, um, and it's very enhanced. So let's go to the live caller. Now, this is what I'm talking about. So you got one of these really good screens like this, right? This cool screen. I'll pull it up again. Got this cool screen, but who needs a cool screen when you have an extra computer monitor? I have three computer monitors, and if I wanted to look at a screen, I could click this live caller option, and boom, right here it displays who is talking, where they're located, their country, packet loss, bit error rate, what mode they're using. So let's let's go to a uh, very popular thing. So there it goes. It says that I'm transmitting, and it says. 
it's uh just do that so let's go link to a let's link to reflector 30 dollar real quick and see if there's any other people talking on there and i'll show you how cool this uh, looks and there it is right there their information and then it's going to switch back to me because i'm talking ko4 uck this is k0 nnk uh, the name here is Colin, and I'm located in El Cater, Iowa. Go ahead. As soon as they're talking. Yeah, this is, uh, John. Uh, this is John Colin. I'm in Walmart. And just like that, I made a contact, and it shows everything displayed on there. So you could throw this up on a TV and uh, see who's talking. Even if you don't have a radio, you see, oh, my buddy's talking on there. Might as well go talk to him. Grab your radio, go. Um, but when you're using a hotspot that has a, a screen, even if it's this big, um, are you really going to be looking at that a lot? And this uh, part is one really cool thing and why I think screens on hotspots are pretty much obsolete now. Um, and it saves you also a lot of money. If I had a big screen on this, it would cost me quite a bit. I'd have to charge customers a lot more money. Um, but using this little small OLED screen right there, um, it displays the information when you need it. and if you want something cool you can just go here and it shows you so that's the power of uh, the W0CHP Pi-Star dashboard um, so this is the admin page let's go to configuration and zoom out a little bit so um, one really cool thing is you if you put your call sign in it it'll automatically update your DMR stuff and also there's less steps with this than what you do with Pi-Star uh, for me, if I wanted to configure my hotspot, it would take me less than a minute and 30 seconds. If I was using regular Pi Star on a Pi Zero, it would take me probably 5 to 10 minutes just because of how slow it is and also how many steps you have to keep going for. So if I want to enable DMR mode, and I can do as much stuff as I want. I could change my OLED to screen to something else. Um, I could. Uh, change all my latitude I could change the call sign if I wanted to give it to someone else radio modes of, I could change all this stuff all at the same time and then click apply changes um, and I don't have to manually do stuff so it's a very it fixes a lot of dumb stuff that's in regular Pi star um, and it's right here on the WPSD software which is uh, one of the main selling points with my hotspot so if you want to grab one yourself go ahead I'll leave a link to it in the description. Just a little video on how I uh, made myself a uh, hotspot company and how I make myself a little bit of money as a youth at Amateur Radio. So we'll uh, see you guys later and on to the next video. K0 to K773.